Hey there scholars, today we're diving deep into some lesser known facts about the most significant event in the history of the world, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Firstly let's talk about the method itself. Did you know that crucifixion was not originally a Roman invention? It actually dates back to the Persians around 500 BC. The Romans later adopted and perfected it as a method of execution, designed to maximize pain and suffering. The truth is that the Lord Jesus carried a full cross to Golgotha, and the Hebrew Gospel of John testified of the event, the cross of our salvation and eternal life, as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. Another point of interest is the inscription placed above Jesus' head. According to the Gospels it reads, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews in Hebrew, Latin and Greek, the hidden Hebrew message on the inscription, the acrostic formed by taking the first letter of each word of the sentence, is Yahweh, the covenant name of Israel's God. Let's not forget about the nails. Traditional Christian art often depicts nails through the palms but most scholars agree that nails were likely driven through the wrists. This method would support the body's weight more effectively, preventing the hands from tearing free. Addressing the time of death, crucifixion was designed to be a prolonged and excruciating process, sometimes taking days for a victim to die. However, the Gospels note that Jesus died relatively quickly, within six hours. This rapid death has sparked much theological discussion over the centuries. The Roman soldiers played a critical role too. To confirm a victim's death, they would break their legs, hastening suffocation. Interestingly, the Gospel of John notes that Jesus' legs were not broken, fulfilling Old Testament prophecy that none of his bones would be broken. One final startling fact is the location of Jesus' crucifixion. Golgotha, known as the place of the skull, it is referred to in all four Gospels. The hill of execution was outside the city walls of Jerusalem not far from the sepulcher where Jesus was buried. At the place where Jesus was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb, in which no one had ever been laid. Whether you're deepening your own faith or enriching your scholarly pursuits, these facts remind us of the profound complexities surrounding this pivotal moment in history. Yahweh, bless thee and keep thee. Yahweh make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. Yahweh lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Shalom.